There are many ways to understand this election. It is democracy versus fascism. It is political party uh, versus a cult. It is center left versus far right. It is patriotism versus the angry anti-Americanism of Donald Trump. But during this convention, there's another frame that seems pretty clear. It's joy versus anger. One of the st most striking things about Kamala Harris and Tim Walls is I've never seen a ticket uh, for national office where the people smile this much. Both of them smile a lot. Both of them seem happy, not just to be the nominees of their party, but to be doing the work that they're doing. People have noted a lot that we've never really seen Donald Trump laugh, but we've also almost never seen him smile. And what in the last few weeks, what we've seen is the anger. He's always had an angry message, but if you listen to his words, he sounds angry. If you go back and watch the Republican Party, which I don't really, Republican Convention, which I don't really advise that you do, you will see a celebration of anger, anger about what America is doing, angry, anger about what, what's happening to Donald Trump, anger towards their fellow Americans. And when you watch the Democratic Convention, you see joy and optimism. And that's a real choice here. In November, starting October in many states, the American people can choose between joy and hope for the future and anger.